Welcome, young princess. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's the Goodwill store in southern Mississauga on Dixie and Dundas area. It's on Dundas itself. It's west of uh, Dixie. Um, it's a large store. I remember what store it was way before the uh, Goodwill moved in. They have a section with books. They have clothing in, all through the center. So quite a collection there. Clothing. They didn't have much in the way of what I go looking for usually, which is the Hawaiian shirts. I do look at a few other things as well. I'm glad to see there's no shelving on top of the clothing racks. That may change in time. Shoes. Some selection. I think it's almost a... I don't know how new it is, but it feels like it's quite new. They got their glassware. You saw some of the other hard goods there along the wall. End caps have got ceramics and other decor. And you've got this, uh, the shelves like this. And some electronics, not, not stacked up as I've seen in some other places. So. That's what's making me think this isn't so uh, an old store. Some furniture, some bikes, uh, all their cushions are interestingly shown in a shelf. There's the electronics again. Some small appliances with them. Some furnace filters, surprisingly, they're like that. Some artwork. I think this is a rack just coming out. And uh, there's the clothes. Some sporting goods, some lamps, some other things like that. Uh, as again, I couldn't go in perfect order uh, because there were people in some of the aisles. Some of the aisles may have been skipped because of that as well. Some of the other decorative items. Some more appl small appliances. Cookware. There's restocking person. Cups and saucers. Glassware. Mugs. It's a bunch more of the smaller pieces of artwork. Red glass, they sometimes they do group them nicely. There's some wood sections over there. Um, the clothing, quite a bit. I uh, did take a quick whiz through the purses. Nothing stood out to me, but then I'm not an expert at looking for them. Something that's Pretty glaringly obvious I might see it so if there's something you like you can pop out to this store they may not have those ones in there anymore by the time you see this but here we got sheets and fabric pieces so I think these are children's shoes and there's more fabrics and sheets might be some towels as well This is a fairly common way of grouping them. As far as I know, this is the most easterly of the Goodwill stores. Uh, in the past, it used to be the most easterly one had was uh, remaining in Oakville.
They have their bagged items as we become familiar with them at uh, Goodwills. Here we were scanning along. We saw some interesting different items here. For example, the one I use in the splash page reminds me of a an oriental outfit. I refer to it as a welcome to a princess. It could be worn as part of a costume for a princess or if somebody's from that from the area they might have a specific uh, feeling about how it's used. Not a bad price at all. For the amount of work that had gone into it, that was darn cheap. Yes, they've got denim and they've got shorts and so on. It was still warm weather at the time. Bunch of shopping carts over there. And we are looking to see if we find some Hawaiian shirts. Not seeing their warrant, I'm just going along. You never know, sometimes there's something that pops up that's a surprise, sometimes it gets tucked in. Like this, there's a prospect. And a second one. Here we got some stills of the first one. $7.29 is actually quite a good price a bit on the smaller side for Hawaiian shirts so you have to be a very petite person to wear this and here's the other one lovely colors may not be for everyone I understand that again same kind of price again on the smaller side of Hawaiian shirts in general I mean the, a large maybe fits somebody as if they were wearing a a larger person wearing a, a much larger size so I don't fault anyone for that generally they aren't worn as form-fitting there you saw some of the furniture more of the bagged items in a different area sometimes there are some real treasures inside the bags we've come across some very very nice uh, glass items that have been just bagged. They do have some newer items as well. Those are for those who want to be on a budget. Not saying that they're best price or anything. These are the glass cases. They've got some items that probably best in there so they don't get damaged, broken or separated. Interesting teapot motif for a pin. I think it's a pin. Well, Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. We'd appreciate if you give us a, a subscribe and a like and maybe even a mark on the bell so you get notified of the next one. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.